welcome back to my channel again <laughs> um, if you're new here welcome welcome and please grab a seat and sign your lease you're gonna be here for a very long time I hope and if you're returning thank you for coming back and I hope that I have been making content that you actually enjoy it's me again back with another African food inspired video and today I'll be focusing on the country Nigeria Yay! Um, the food that I'll make, be making today is a classic it's what Nigeria is proudly known as and a lot of Ghanaians may fight me about this but it's the country that makes the best version of this dish I'm talking about jollof rice my friends today I'll be showing you how to make jollof rice I've only made it once myself so I've improved my recipe and hopefully you can make it too and just show your people that you love them and I also be making plantains for those of you that don't know what plantains are it's these guys that look like bananas but not bananas they are starchier than bananas and they're usually eaten a lot um, in a lot of African countries I'm only gonna be making two cups of rice worth of jollof rice not too much because yeah doesn't matter why but anyway if you have a bigger family you can double this recipe obviously if you have a smaller family you can half this recipe or you don't even have to half it because it stays well in the fridge and in the freezer as well it's very freezable um, so yeah I'm gonna begin and begin and begin and go to, go to, go. <laughs> and to start making our jollof rice we are just gonna cut up two medium-sized brown onions the recipe calls for two red onions most people um, prefer to use red onions because it has a sweeter aftertaste but if you don't have like we don't have you can use brown onions as well no biggie it's not a or oh, white onion um, it's up to you now that I've chopped up my onions my one and a half onions I'm gonna add these to the pan to saute and become a nice golden color so that we can give a nice sweet note to the dish it does show that you are top chef um, because it gives a nice, nice foundation nice sweet foundation for our dish adding them into the saute and to that we'll be adding canola oil you have to try and use oil that doesn't have that will not impart its flavor too much or that is flavorless to the dish because as much as i like using olive oil um it's not appropriate for this the eyes are burning right? my eyes are burning too we'll be adding a third cup of oil other recipes call for triple this but i am not I'm not gonna do that to myself, you know. Um, third cup of oil should be enough. Why waste my oil? And then in here, obviously, we have our rice, since we're making the lot rice. And this rice is Speco brand. The basmati rice that we use is not the best type of rice to use for this. Although you could use it if you don't have something else, but um, it's not the best because of how thin it is. You want a rice that's more long grain and a bit thicker. As you can see here, I've put all at the bottom to catch the water. This is known as, for those of you that are behind, known as rice water and it's actually really good for your hair. So, and plants as well, for those of you that like plants. So this water right here, this one, this one right here, that you thought you should throw away. No, my dear, you should use it for your hair and your hair will be beautiful. I'm just gonna give it a little rinse quickly. And also it gives you more rice water so the reason why i prefer to use a wider pan although i'm not making that many cups of rice i'm only making two is because you don't want your rice to stick i found that if you use a more narrower pan although it's long like for example i imagine the pot version that doesn't have holes that's not wholly like this yeah a pot like this um is not the best to make it in because then the rice will clump and since it has a lot of water content it's very easy for the rice not to cook evenly at the top and at the bottom okay while our onions are sauteing we're now our half teaspoon of cumin seeds this is optional if you don't like cumin you don't have to add it um, i found that many different nigerian homes and other homes in general that make um jollof rice add a few tweaks to their recipe to make it I guess theirs so I like cumin seeds and I feel like it's gonna help to really make the curry spice even more you know so 
from my Apple's in for temper disease and two babies. Revive it. And while that's happening, we're gonna blend our ingredients that are gonna be using for our sauce. We'll be using half an onion. We'll be using just imagine these this as one tomato because they're really small. So this is supposed to it, in my head, this means one medium-sized tomato. So we're using three medium-sized tomatoes. Don't don't mind how small. Just just imagine in your head. We'll be adding in one of these. This is optional, although I do recommend that you add it because it's just not the same without the chili. It's very hot, very very hot, very 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 bit. This is I feel like it's the hottest chili, honestly. Um, Two large red peppers. You need to use red peppers. That'll give the nice, beautiful color that jollof. The nice red, beautiful color that jollof traditionally has. The ratio is up to you. Um, the red peppers help to give the color and the sweetness, and then the tomatoes just help to give make it saucy, I guess. Oops. And our lid. Um, we're also going to be adding the rest of our spices. This is two teaspoons of paprika, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of cumin and coriander mixed spice, and two teaspoons of curry powder. Others tend to omit the paprika and they only add the curry powder, but I feel like the smoked paprika will give it that smoky flavor and it will also help to give it that red color because remember we are going after that beautiful red color. And we're gonna add that in as well. All of it, yes, all of it, all of it. Trust me when I say it smells fine in the kitchen, divine, I tell you. Now that our mixture has been blended. Oh, you think it looks a little bit dry? You think it's a little dry? You think so? Oh, don't worry because we have our tomato sauce to save the day. Cue in central music. After I feel like it's been incorporated and it doesn't look like this, like I'm trying to to, to, to make a milky way okay now that it has incorporated itself and it has made sense i am now going to be adding in our maggi cubes three you can also use vegetable stock or you could use your own homemade chicken stock or your own homemade beef stock or your store-bought beef stock whatever you can just use whatever stock you want guys this is your life it's your life at the end of the day who's gonna tell you we're just gonna try and very gently break this and if it's not working you could also cut it up. This is what I usually do anyway, because it doesn't work. I don't know why, but these things are hard. One. <laughs> This is 
one teaspoon of fresh thyme um, you can add as much thyme or as little thyme as you like but not too much but yeah the star of the dish here is thyme so we'll be adding in one teaspoon of fresh thyme I'll also be adding in a sprig of thyme and I'm adding in the rice so that whatever flavor was lost during the cooking down process will be revived revived <laughs> why am I so cringy and now we close we'll be back in 10 minutes in the meantime while we're waiting for our sauce to cook down we are going to be dealing with our plantains so to make the plantains you can use either canola oil or you can use coconut oil but i prefer to use coconut oil and this one doesn't have any flavor it's odorless and flavorless <laughs> so it, it won't impart any of its flavor i just think that the crispiness of the plantain is nicer <laughs> that we will be adding in our pumpkins and I'm just gonna cut up you can see this lovely golden color on the plantains once they're fried they're so delicious I'm just gonna slice it up last couple of minutes that it needed to be fully cooked with the sauce and by the time it's done it would have absorbed the flavor of the sauce and just you know it will be one it will marry because remember we didn't put any salt in here we just put in our vegetable stock and i prefer to put in salt towards the end of the cooking process because i found that putting it in early had me putting in much more salt than i would have had i put it in at the end because as you cook, some of the salt um, evaporates with the steam. So putting it at the end ensures that you don't end up having copious amounts of sodium in your food. Yeah, just gonna close that. See how red it is, that's what we want. This is 20 minutes later. This is the dish to close. Um, as you can see, it's saucy, but as it cools down, it'll become drier, so you don't have to worry about the sauce. And also, you can make it less saucy if you want. That just means that when you blend it, you don't have to blend it with water like I did. Since I blended it with water, it made it a bit saucier. Um, but yeah, this is your preference then, yeah, then that's okay. And now we're just gonna serve. Now to serve, here we have our delicious saucy jello fries. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at, look, look, look at the color. Look at the color. As Yemi said, this is more like a party jello fries then but the cotton is just so what do you mind? Continue. Anywho, we're just gonna just sum up that. Probably gonna come back for seconds, but let me not let me not dish with my eyes. And then we'll be dishing some of our plantain. This slice, this is really crispy. 
Oh, I want you guys to hear the crunch factor. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? That's cr that's crisp. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna dish a few, just a few, just just a couple, just a couple. And the good thing is, these are good for you guys. It's good for you. It's tomatoes. It's, it's just it's love. That's what it is. It's love. And to that, I'll be adding in some beans that I made. And now to eat. Join husband or wife to make your in laws happy, to make yourself happy. Turn off everything. Turn off. We have our plantain that we have devoured, and we have our lovely rice water that we made with our rice. Isn't that lovely? Best of both worlds. Um, and I'm just gonna enjoy this now. This is really yummy. This is really good. If you haven't tried making fried plantain, please grow up. I think I don't it's very nice, Bushadi. This is really good. I'm enjoying the jollof rice. I like the level of spice. It's not too spicy. It's almost like party jollof, but it has that homey vibe, you mm -hmm. know, because party jollof tends to be a bit, a bit drier than usual. But it's still nice, and the plantain slabs. Um, you didn't make these potatoes, but they're nice too. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. That was my sister Yemi just giving us a, a review, a, a homey review. Why did your thumb do that? It's a thumbs up. 